Hi, welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we're looking at an instructional video on how to power your Delta Pro with an external battery bank. Let's get into it. Okay, so if you're like me, um, you're very excited about the Alcoflow Delta Pro solar generator system. However, you also realize there's limitations. Namely, that once you've added two extra batteries, that's as far as you can extend it. And two extra batteries uh, with the main unit only puts you at 10 kilowatt hours of storage. That's not enough. So you're like, how can I work out something to add more battery capacity? Well, this video is how to do that. So we have been doing a little experiment here. And uh, although we had a lot of bumps along the way, I think we might possibly be where we wanted to be. Uh, as you can see, this is a Renogy Rover controller, solar controller, 60 amp um, model. And we are getting, uh, if you look at this, I hope it's showing um, 715 watts of input, solar input. Majority of that is going into the um, battery, 13 amps. And then I've also got 7.6 amps on the load coming out of it. What is the load? Well, glad you asked. The load is the Delta Pro. The Delta Pro is getting 414, uh, and yeah, 14, give or take, watts coming into the Delta Pro and is charging that up. So it's not like an amazing transfer rate, but it is possible to charge an external battery bank as well as the Delta Pro in this setup. Okay, so have we found a, a secret hack where we can extend the battery life of the Delta Pro system potentially infinitely by just adding more external batteries? Well, yes, yes we have. Have we also made a very significant compromise? Also, yes, yes we have. As you can see, it's only feeding into the Delta Pro at approximately 400 watts. That is way lower than the 1600 watts that you can get by directly feeding the Delta Pro. So you're making a very significant compromise. You have a much slower solar input um, by adding an external battery. Uh, and although you can add more capacity to that battery bank uh, and extend the overall power of the Delta Pro, it may not be worth the trade-off. Um, you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself and also what your home's needs are. Uh, you also have to figure out, is it, is it more cost-effective to do this? Um, it's, a, it's a tough question. So as you think about these components here, you've got your battery, obviously. This is a 50 amp hour battery. Um, I think I got a decent deal on it, but even so, it's still a, 600 to 700 dollar battery i think it's closer to 700 uh, and that's 2.5 kilowatt hours of storage so you know not inconsiderable but significant then you have your your controller over here uh which is i think somewhere around 270 uh which is also not inconsiderable so all in Let's just say you're sitting at very close to $1,000 for this, these two pieces. And then, you know, you, and you've significantly hampered your solar input of the um, Delta Pro. So imagine if I had, you know, 10 of these, which would be of these batteries, these here, I'd have 25 kilowatt hours of storage. And, um, you know, I'd be trickle charging that through into the Delta Pro at 400 watts. That's not like, it would be, I could easily see a scenario where that, <clears throat> uh, the usage of my house drains my Delta Pros faster than I could replenish it. Particularly if you don't have extended batteries hooked up to the Delta Pro. Would I recommend going with an external battery and uh, controller over an, an extra battery from EcoFlow? No, I, d I absolutely would not. I would say spend the money, get the extra battery from EcoFlow because it gives you three, an extra 3.6 kilowatts of storage, but it no way hampers uh, your solar input. You can continue to use 
the full solar input of the Delta Pro. And I think that is better. Um, even, you know, even if you say, oh, I can get a, a five kilowatt hour server rack battery for the same price. Yeah, but again, you're going to hamper your input to the Delta Pro and you're going to be trickling it in at 400 watts or so. Um, I, I don't think that's a good compromise. I'd only consider doing it after you've maxed out the extra batteries on the Delta Pro. Lastly, I guess I'm going to ask the, the, uh, all of you out there, because I've never claimed to be an expert. I'm just sharing what I've learned and what has worked for me with my house and my system. But if you know of a way to increase the input into the Delta Pro from the, the Renogy solar controller and the battery, I'd love to hear it because um, to me right now, I kind of consider this to be, yes, it works and it functions, but it's not necessarily practical yet. So until I could find a way to feed um, closer to 800 or 1,000 watts into the um, Delta Pro, I'm not sure that this is a realistic everyday setup for me. All right, I think that's going to wrap up this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I think it was at least an interesting uh, exercise, lab experiment, if you will. Um, the conclusion being that, yes, it is possible to power your Delta Pro with an external battery bank, um, simultaneously charging that battery bank. Uh, what I had tried in previous experiments was I could charge the Delta Pro from a battery or I could charge up the battery, but I couldn't do both at the same time. With the right controller, you can do that. You can do both. However, it is, it's limited, right? Like it's handicapped in a way. Potentially in a way it's so handicapped it might not even be useful for you in your scenario. Um, but at, at any rate, that's something you'll have to figure out on your own. For me, I'm thinking it's probably not practical. I'd have to add a ton of extra, you know, battery to make it worthwhile and even so I, I worry that the trickle charge into the Delta Pro would not be sufficient to keep up with my house daily demand. That's it for what, uh, this video. Thank you for watching always. Uh, please click the subscribe button. I have lots of more content coming so thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video.